In this video, we're going to take a look at sketching cubics. Now, when we're sketching cubics, ideally we want something like we've got here on the screen already. And the reason for that is because this is a cubic polynomial, but it's already in fully factorized form. Now, the good thing about this is, is it allows us to see the roots, so where it cuts through the x-axis, and the y-intercepts. Now, the roots here would clearly just be given by x equals 1. So x equals 1, we have x equals 2, and x equals Three here, so that would be our three solutions, and we're also going to get a y y intercept here, just like we would for say a quadratic. Now, if you were to expand these three um, factors here, then what I'd get is y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Okay. Now, just like if you had say a quadratic that was of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now for a quadratic here, the y intercept would just be given by this c term. And the same applies for a cubic. It would just be this d term. The reason for that is because the y intercept is when x is equal to 0. So that would be 0, that would be 0, that would also be 0. We just get left with d. Okay. So to obtain this d, without fully expanding it, we can just see that d will be equal to minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3. So d is equal to minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3, which in this case, so minus 1 times minus 2 is positive 2, times by minus 3 would give me minus 6. So we've got everything we need now to actually sketch this cubic. So it cuts through at minus 6 here on the y-axis, that's my y-intercept, and we know the three solutions here are x equals 1, let's just say that's there, we've got x equals 2, let's say that's there, and x equals 3. Okay, something like this. Now, we're only sketching this, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but the main idea here is that we show where it cuts through the coordinate axis. So where does it cut through on the y-axis, which we're going to mark here, and then where does it cut through on the x-axis, which again, like we said, is given by the three solutions. Now, just so we know what this roughly looks like, we need to consider the general shape. Now, the general shape is given by this um, the positivity of the cubic, so whether it's going to be a positive cubic or a negative cubic. So in this case, it's going to be x times by x times by x again. This would be x cubed. So it's just going to be a equals 1 in this case. Okay. So this is a positive cubic. And it's actually going to look something like this. So I call this a new cubic. So it's going to be an n going into a u, something like that. So this is my n here. So that's my n going into the u. Okay. Something like that. That's how I like to remember it. Um, but you might have your own way of doing it. But that's our general shape. Now, if I sketch this, remember it's going to start in the bottom left down here. It's going to come from the bottom here. It's going to intersect with the y axis at minus 6. It's going to carry on going through. It will go through at minus 1. Sorry, positive 1 here. Then we get our n shape. So it's going to come back down, giving us the n. It will go down a little bit here to give us the u. And we'll come back up at 3. Okay, and notice we get the new shape here. So I've got this n going into the u and it comes back up. Okay, and there we have it. So that's our y equals f of x. We don't need anything more than that. We've marked down where it cuts through the, um, the axes here. You might want to make it a little bit cleaner than I've done here, but we can see clearly that those are our solutions. So 1, 2, and 3, and then minus 6 here on the y axis. Okay, and that's all we need. So taking a look at another example now. Now this one here, um, it might look a little bit different, but all we need to do is just consider the second term here. So what I've got is x minus 2. So this is x plus 1 squared, so that's just actually x plus 1. So x plus 1 times x plus 1, okay? So again, if we were to expand this, we could work out the y-intercept. So d here, that would be equal to minus 2 times 1 times 1 again. So that would just be minus 2. It's going to cut through the y-axis at minus 2. Let's just say that's there. Now we're also going to get a solution at x equals 2. So x equals 2 is the solution. Now here we've got x plus 1 and x plus 1 again. Now this just means we're going to have a repeated root at x equals minus 1. So when we say a repeated root here, all we mean is it's just going to brush off at minus 1. So it's just going to kind of touch it and then come back down. So if this is, say, minus 1 here, it's going to touch minus 1 and then just come back down straight away. Okay, it's not going to cut through minus 1. 
So let's just mark down the other solution. So that would be two there. So if we sketch this, what's this going to look like? So again, the general shape, x times x times x. That would be x cubed. It's a positive cubic. And again, we're going to have this n going into a u shape like that. So if I sketch this, we start in the bottom left. So we start in the bottom left here. So we touch minus one, but we just come back down straight away. So it just kind of brushes off minus one. We come back down. We go through minus two. Um, this isn't looking very good. Let's try again. So that's not very clean again. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the minus one a little bit closer just so we can make this sketch a little bit easier. Let's say minus one is there. Okay, so this should be a bit easier to sketch. Now, we start in the bottom left. And when we come up from the bottom left, we touch the minus one, come back down, go through minus two here, and then we come back up and go through two. Okay, and we've got our new shape here. So it's an N went into a U. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just mark clearly where it cuts through the axis. So minus one here, positive two, and minus two there. Okay, and that is y equals f of x for the second example. Taking a look at another example here. Again, it's already in fully factorized form, so we don't need to worry about doing any extra work here. All we need to do is identify the solutions. So I'll have one solution at x equals zero. So x equals zero. We'll have a solution at x equals minus three. So x equals minus three and x equals positive three. Okay, so let's just mark those solutions on. So we're going to have a solution at zero here at the origin, minus three. So let's just say that, say there, and then positive three. Okay, let's just say that's there. Now for the y intercept here, you might notice this straight away, but let's just consider what d will be here. Now we've got this x on the outside. So what actually happens here, if we think about it, is this is just x minus zero. Okay, like that. So I've got x minus zero times x plus three times x minus three. Okay. So clearly once I multiply these three terms together, so minus, or just zero here, sorry, times three times minus three, well, that would just be zero. Okay, so when I've got an x like this on the outside, my y-intercept is just zero. So it just cuts through the origin. So d here is equal to zero. Now, when I sketch this again, let's just consider the general behavior or the what it will generally look like. So it's x times x times x. So it's x cubed again. We know it's going to be an n going into a u, something like that. Okay, so let's try to sketch this now. So we start in the bottom left again here. So we start in the bottom left. We cut through at minus three. We go up now and make the n shape and we come back through at the origin here. Okay. We come back through at the origin. It's slightly off. Let's try again. So we try again here. Like I said, this isn't easy on a tablet. You should find this much easier. Um, on a piece of paper. So we come through at the origin. We go down and make the U shape now. And then we come back up to cut through at three. Okay, and that's perfect. We've got our N here going into the U and that gives us Y equals F of X there. Okay, and that's our solution. For the next one here, now this one is slightly different. And the reason for that is because we have to do a bit of work here with this quadratic. So this isn't in fully factorized form, but it is still a cubic. But like I said, we just need to factorize this quadratic here. Okay, so we need to factorize this quadratic. Now this is nice and straightforward, just factorizing this quadratic here. We get an x at the front of both brackets. So we need two numbers at times to give me minus eight, but add to give me positive two. So that's gonna be uh, plus four and minus two. Okay, so f of x in this case, so f of x, is actually x plus two, so x plus two times these other factors here. So x plus four and x minus two. Okay. So again, we just need to identify the solutions here, the roots. So that would be x equals minus two. We'll have x equals minus four. And we'll also have x equals two there. Okay. So let's just mark those down. So I've got minus four, let's say that's there. Minus two, let's just say that's there. And positive two, let's just say that's there. 
and then we need the y intercept so d here so again imagine you was to expand these but we don't need to do that we just need to multiply um two together with four and minus two so two times four is eight times minus two gives me minus 16. okay so it cuts through the y-axis minus 16 let's just put that there okay so the general behavior here this is x times x times x so it's x cubed so it's a positive cubic so we've got that n going into a u-shape so you should be pretty used to this by now so we start in the bottom left here so we go through at minus four we come up here and make the n shape we come back through at minus two and we go through at minus 16 and then we come back up at positive two okay it's going to look something like that yours should definitely look a bit neater than mine but we get this n shape here come back through for the u and then come back up so that's y equals f of x and again that's all we have to do just mark down where it cuts through the axes okay so that's our solution for that example and then for the last example here we've got a slightly different example and the reason for that is because if you just notice the general behavior straight away i've got 2x times x times minus x now in this case this would be minus 2x cubed so we've got a negative cubic here and that will change the general shape so let's just work out the roots like we did um, for the previous example so it's already in fully factorized form so i've got 2x plus 1 so if we set f of x equal to 0 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so therefore x will be equal to minus a half we get minus a half we've got x equals 2 so x is equal to 2 and then x is equal to 3 okay so let's just mark down these solutions so i've got minus a half say there minus a half we've got x equals two let's just say that's there and then x equals three okay and we also need the y-intercept so that would be d here and that's given by one times minus two times three so one times minus two times three so minus two times three giving me minus six again okay let's just say that's there so what would this look like in this case well for something like this a negative cubic rather than it being the n going into u that's the n going into u that was for a positive cubic it won't look like this but it will actually be a u going into an n okay so it's a u going into an n so we start in the top left here now this time okay so rather than starting in the bottom left down the top left okay so we start up here we're going to come down cut through minus a half carry on until we intersect with the y-axis minus six and then we're going to come up cut through at two and then we get our n and come back through at three so let's try and do that so we're going to start in the top left here we cut through at minus a half okay we carry on cut through at minus six we now curve up we cut through at two here positive two we carry on up get our n shape and then come back down at three okay and notice we've got this u here going into an n and that's perfect so this is y equals f of x okay and that's our solution again just mark it on our solutions minus a half two and three there and cut through the y-axis at minus six and there we have it so that's our solution and that actually brings us to the end of this video in the next video we're going to take a look at sketching quartics